My uh, fondest memory of Ferndale High School is just hanging around uh, lunch with my friends around the tables. It's so much fun just to hang, hang with my friends at lunch. Our old PE teacher, his name was Shaw, and he was one of the best PE teachers I've ever met in my life. He was really, really supportive of everybody. Photographing my first football game, um, that's also where like I kind of like fell in love with photography and what made me fall in love with doing the yearbook. When I was a, a freshman, when my sister and my other brother also came to the school before they graduated before me, that was my favorite memory because I really got to spend a lot more time with my, my siblings and my cousins, my older cousins, and they really made me feel welcome. My favorite memory for in Ferndale is going to Wea for Washington. And when I was in uh, Mecha, Throughout the course of my past few years, we've done many events, many uh, uh, charities, many fundraisers, and it's really fun, and I enjoyed spending time with them. But my fondest memory that I'm going to be making would be graduating. What makes Fernando High School special, I think, is probably the, the different cultures that it represents and the different groups that they associate with. What I think makes Fernando High School special is the community. Um, especially if you get like a nice good friend group uh, and stick with, stick with it all through high school, I think it's, you'll have a fun time. It's the teachers and the people that you meet, because I have countless resources that I'm able to go to. Probably a mixture of the people and the competitiveness and the wanting to do your best. You can tell everyone's putting their heart, mind, and soul into the things that they love and Ferno High School is the perfect place to want to do what you want to do best. Our Native American staff here because they made me feel like I was okay here and like everything was going to be okay. So they made me feel like home. In high school, the biggest challenge I ever came was when we switched to online school during COVID. For me, at first, it was very difficult. I didn't know how to navigate through Canvas or any of that. During my freshman and sophomore year, I was having a really hard time with my grades and I was put in a class for extra help and um, during my sophomore year I put in a lot of work and by the end I got out of that class and I'm doing well with all my grades now. Just coming to a new banner and not know to, where to go. I don't know what anything was in the school. And I was nervous in the ninth grade. And also that teacher helped me get used to the school. Motivating myself. I have always had a hard time with self-motivation and I think that attending this specific high school definitely helped me realize that if you don't do it now, then when are you actually going to do it? Just getting my work in on time. I had a lot of trouble getting it done on time, uh, but with a lot of help from teachers, I was able to overcome it and really learn. Advice I'll give the younger students is never be afraid of failure because if we don't go to failure, then how would we know what it feels like to fail? and then that's when we would know how to do it right next time. Don't sweat it too much. Uh, it, it really is putting too much stress on yourself and then not even doing homework or doing any of that. That really messed me up. And it took me a while to realize that. But the younger you are, the more mistakes you'll make. And uh, I'm glad I made my mistakes and I learned from them. Try to have fun and join a sports. Team. If you're in middle school or you're going to think about just about doing anything music wise like whether it be orchestra, choir or marching band and you either, you've, either you're thinking about going into in middle school, do it. If you did it in middle school, do it at least one more year. When it comes to our music program um, in high school versus middle school, middle school is amazing but high school is a whole other level and when you get to the high school you are with the people that really want to be there and they're really trying their hardest and it is an amazing environment to, to be in. Don't be afraid to try new things. Um, I was kind of nervous my freshman and sophomore year about joining any sports so I just put it off. And then my junior year, I was like, you know what, this is kind of stupid, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join um, cross country. And I actually really liked it. And uh, do things that make you uncomfortable and push yourself, and uh, you'll achieve what good things. Well, my words of advice would be uh, two things. One, be kind to one another. And the second, get your homework in on time. <laughs>
Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something because you can do anything that you want to do always and forever.